Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Codus Arcade. In this video, we will learn about one of the sorting algorithms in arrays in C programming. We will be sorting the array elements and for that we will be using the bubble sort algorithm. Before starting the video, I would like to request you people to please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel Codus Arcade and press the bell icon so that you receive notifications about our latest updates. Thank you. So let's get started. First of all, we will try to understand about the logic associated with bubble sort, how to use it in our program, and then we will write a practical program and understand its implementation and execution. So let's get started. Let us look at an example. Consider an array of five elements. The elements are 13, 24, 36, 17, and 12. Then their index numbers will be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. We will be arranging this array in ascending order. So the final result after bubble sort will be the following array 12, 13, 17, 24, and 36. Bubble sort is the simplest sorting algorithm that works by repeatedly swapping the adjacent elements if they are in wrong order. This swapping is done by comparison. In this example, we can see that we have 5 elements and their indexing is from 0 to 4. In the first iteration, at index 0, the first element is 13. So it will be compared to the next element which is 24 and then the greater element between the two will go towards the right if necessary. But we can see that 13 is smaller than 24. Therefore, no swapping will happen. Then 24 and 36 will be compared and as 24 is smaller than 36, it will remain in its same place. Then 36 will be compared to 17 and since it is greater than 17, they will interchange positions. Then 36 and 12 will be compared and since 36 is greater than 12, they will again interchange positions. Thus, after the first iteration, 36 has reached its desired position and the array will look like this. 13, 24, 17, 12 and 36. Now, in the second iteration, 13 will be compared to 24. Since 13 is less than 24, they will stay at their original positions. Now, 24 will be compared to 17. Since 24 is greater than 17, they will swap positions. Now, 24 will be compared to 12. Again, as 24 is greater than 12, they will interchange positions. Then, 24 will be compared to 36. And as 24 is less than 36, both of them will remain in their original positions. So, after the second iteration, the array looks like this. 13, 17, 12, 24, and 36. In the third iteration, 13 will be compared to 17. They will remain in their original positions since 13 is less than 17. Then 17 and 12 will be compared and they will interchange positions as 17 is greater than 12. Then 17 will be compared to 24 and they both will remain in their original positions because 17 is less than 24 and 24 and 36 will also remain in their same positions because of the same condition. So after third iteration, the array will look like this 13, 12, 17, 24 and 36. In the fourth iteration, 13 will be compared with 12 and since it's greater than 12, both the elements will swap positions. In this way, after each iteration, the greatest element in the array gets bubbled up to its desired position. Therefore, this algorithm is known as the bubble sort algorithm. Thus, you can see that after the fourth iteration, we have got our sorted array, which is 12, 13, 17, 24, and 36. This is how the bubble sort algorithm works. Now, let us go to our IDE so that we can implement this example on bubble sort by writing a C program. So, as you can see, we are inside our IDE and let's start writing the program. I will start by including the header file and then I will start with the main function. 
here let me start declaring the variables first i will declare my array let the array be a and the size be 10 then i will take a variable to store the size let it be n and then i will declare a variable temp so that i can swap the variables and then I will take my loop variables. So let it be i, j, k and l. And finally the semicolon. Here first of all I will use a print function so that I can tell the user to enter the size of the array and the slash and character so that the control goes to the next line. And I will use the scanf function now so that I can store the size of the array into a variable. So it will be person d comma and and the variable will be n. Then again I will use the printf function so that I can tell the user to enter the elements one by one enter person d elements one by one and then again the slash n so that i can go to the next line and finally here i have to give the variable name which is n and here to read the input from the user i have to use a for loop so for i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus and inside the for loop i will use the scanf function so that i can read the input from the user and store it into my array a so it will be person d address operator a of i so with this i can store the array then here i will print the unsorted array with the help of the printf function so printf the unsorted array is here i will use two slash ends so that i can give a considerable gap and this quote should also be outside and for displaying the unsorted array i have to again use the for loop so it will be say for j equal to 0 my other loop variable j less than n j plus plus and inside the for loop i will use the printf function so that i can display the unsorted array so percent d and to give a precise gap between the elements in the array i will use the slash t or the tab character and here again i have to call my array by a of j so with this we can take the user input for the size of the array then we can tell the user to enter the elements one by one and then we can display the unsorted array now let us try to run this program and check whether the program is working till now or not before that uh, let me use the return statement because this function will be returning integer values so now it's correct let me run it okay so now let the size be 5 and yes it's asking me for the 5 elements one by one i will give 13 24 36 17 and 12 so you can see that the unsorted array has been printed on the command prompt console 13 24 36 17 and 12 so our program is working correctly as of now so let us go on and write the logic of the program so first of all let us write the swapping algorithm so for that i will use a for loop and i have two variables as you can see k and l as you can see here so i will take for k is equal to 0 k less than here i want to tell you something very important 
we saw that when we have five elements in our array, in the fourth iteration, we get our sorted array. So that means the looping or the iteration should be one number less than the highest element. So in that case, it should be n minus one. So here, the value of k should be going on till k equal to zero to k less than n minus one. Because in n minus one iterations, we get our sorted array. So you need to remember this logic. Otherwise, you will be encountering errors in your program. Then I will use the increment. And inside this, I will do the swapping algorithm. For that, first of all, I have to use the if statement. So if a of k is greater than a of k plus one, which will be the next element, in that case, I will do the swapping. So inside the if statement, as I have declared the temp variable, what I will do is temp is equal to a of k, then a of k is equal to a of k plus one. And finally, a of k plus one is equal to temp. So this is a basic swapping algorithm. I hope you guys know about this and I think I made a mistake here. So this will be a semicolon and then with this we are done with the swapping algorithm but this will be for the comparison of the numbers or the elements but we also have to give a outer for loop for the number of iterations. So for this I will use another for loop which is for l equal to zero. And as I showed you, the number of iterations will be n minus one. So L less than n minus one, L plus plus. And then we will start this for loop. And this brace will not be here. It will be after the end of the inner for loop. So for that, this is the inner for loop. So after this, we'll be using the outer for loop. So now this is done. Then finally, as we have printed the unsorted array, we will also be printing the sorted array. So for that, here I will again use the printf function and I will type the sorted array after bubble sort is and here so that I can give the control to the next line. What I will do is I will use a slash n and here also I will use two slash n's. So this is done and to display the array, I have to use a for loop. So for i equal to zero, i less than n, i plus plus and here I will print percent D and to give a space between the elements, I will give the slash T or the tab character. And finally, I will call my variable, which is A of I. So with this, we are done with the logic. So let us run the program and check whether it is working or not. So I'm running it. And okay, it's asking me for the size of the array. Let the size be five. And let us take the earlier example only 13, 24, 36, 17, and 12. So you can see the unsorted array is 13, 24, 36, 17, and 12. And after the bubble sort is done, it displays the sorted array after bubble sort is 12, 13, 17, 24, and 36. So this is it, our program is working properly. So this is how you can use the bubble sort algorithm and sort an array in ascending order. I hope you guys have liked this video. Thank you.